What's he like? Her boy toy or something? What the hell? It's like a scrawny little kid. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back for the long-awaited finale reaction of Game of Thrones Season 1. We have been anticipating this for quite a while now, and after the last episode, which we'll get into in a moment, but damn, like, we are excited, nervous, just a lot of mixed feelings, just waiting to see how this is going to end. We know there's still a long way to go in this journey, but we expect big things from today's episode, and... I mean, yeah, I think we just we just get into it and, and see what happens in, in a moment. I think a lot of you can tell we were quite distraught last episode and we just decided that we didn't want to sit in that emotional turmoil for too long. So we're jumping right into the finale as soon as we finish last episode. So, yeah. And, you know, stop being around the bush. We are really want to see if Ned is still alive. We are praying that he is because we didn't necessarily see his head come off, but it also very much seemed like he was killed. And if he died in such in, in such a manner, we discussed it in the last reaction, but it just seemed like a really pathetic way for such an honourable hero like Ned to go. And especially at the hands of someone as just conniving and manipulative and ugh as <laughs> Joffrey. Joffrey. King Robert right now would be rolling in his grave. Like, he would never have thought his best, most trusted best friend to be killed so soon after his death by the hands of his son. Just Son. Yeah. Just tyrannically, you know, mad with power that he doesn't even know how to wield. It's just a tragic. It's tragic, and I really, really hope, especially after Ned sucked up his pride and, and literally lied and dishonored himself, to go out that way, oh, man, that really rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm hoping that everything I'm saying now is just... Pointless. Otherwise, oh, otherwise, everyone's everyone will be laughing at us right now, saying you guys are sweet summer children. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, I hope that Rob's army just mows the Lannisters down. I know that won't happen too. So basically, my faith is gone. But they do have Jamie's head, which gives me a bit of hope. Not his head, but they've got Jamie captured. So shit, if that is dead, what will they do with that? Too. That's pretty pretty rough. Well, it, I wonder what Ned's last thoughts were, if it was his last thoughts, because he was just looking around. The last he saw Arya, she wasn't there anymore. So, I don't know. I just, yeah, it is quite sad. It's brutal. But in other news, across the sea, I wonder what's happening with Drogo. Oh, and we got that absolute beast of a man, which seemed really weird. Actually, we didn't discuss that much in the last episode. We sort of, I forgot to be honest, but... Too much happened toward the end it of was, the last Yeah, oh, we were digesting that potential death. But it was kind of weird that that cut, which he let happen, maybe they're foreshadowing to let the witches show, they wanted to show the witches' blood magic a little bit. Yeah, but it does make sense. Like, it might be But he affected that still. bad where he's almost dying or about to die. Yeah, but just remember, like, you have a cut with dirty still. That gets infected like that. And back then they didn't have all the AIDS and stuff that we've got now. I wonder, there are definitely going to be consequences to that blood magic, so I wonder what that's going to be. I know. But I'm glad Drogo's not dead, because that would suck, dude. Imagine losing Drogo and Ned in the same episode. Well, you may as well just quit the show then and there. <laughs> I know. Well, Khaleesi, the Khaleesi is also apparently going to give birth, but they were told no one come in that tent when she's singing, and Jorah took Daenerys in there, so I don't know. It's yeah. got to keep it suspenseful. Yeah, it's going to be a wild episode, I think, a wild finale. A huge thank you guys to everyone who's supporting us over on Patreon. It really does help the channel a lot. If you want to support us over on Patreon, check the link in the description. We do offer ad-free reactions, full-length uncut reactions, which don't appear on the channel, and early access to upcoming reactions as well as other perks available. So if you're interested in any of that, check that out. For those of you over on YouTube, if you enjoyed the reaction, remember to leave a like. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought, and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with as soon as we drop Season 2. You will know. Okay, let's go. The finale. Oof. I don't know if we're emotionally ready for this. I don't think I am. Not after last episode. I was bawling. Yeah. That's Ned's. There's no way. No way, dude. 
Nah, that is shit. Do you remember me now, boy? Hey, you remember me? There's a brat boy. You'll be coming with me, boy. Oh my god! Who's he? The one that, that, that the teacher fought? No. But at the start, he called her boy, remember? And, she, and she's like, no, I'm a girl. I'm not a boy! You're not a smart boy, is that what you're trying to say? Do you want to live, boy? <laughs> no, boy. He's trying to Helping. save her. Helping. Dude, I cannot believe Ned is dead like that. That is absolutely fucked up. Oh my god. This is the dream. Was it that he was always going to die? Is that the dream? We went down into the crypts. My father was there. Your father's not down there, little lord. Not for many years yet. Oh. They're trying to digest Ned, dude. Uh... You see? He's not here. Oh, not yet. <laughs> what the hell? That beast is supposed to be chained in the kennels. He doesn't like chains. What are you doing down here? What is he doing down here? I came to see father. He was down here. I saw him. Saw him when? Last night. When I was sleeping. He must be able to see like prophecies or something like that. But they both said the same thing. So they both had a similar dream. It's only naturally should be in your thoughts and dreams. He's just got a letter. No. Run. No way, man. That's so sad. I still can't believe it, dude. The music's just so soulful and emotional. Just to keep it together in front of everyone and then just let's go in privacy. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> Rob! <laughs> You've ruined your sword. And? Fuck it, Joffrey, dude. Look at all these hearts that he's broken. Joffrey's permanently on my hate list. Permanently. I'm gonna kill them all. I hope you do, dude. I hope you do. What's John's reaction gonna be? How did Ned go out that way? I'll have your ugly head. You're nowhere near as murderous as. You still wanna marry him, Sansa? The lion in my bed. Ugh. Can't stand him. Is that Joffrey? <laughs> what? He likes his dad being humiliated? No, it's a song. Tell me, which do you favor? Your fingers or your tongue? Oh my god. I could just cut your throat. Far out, dude. Tongue it is. Your grace, please. <laughs> Joffrey, who do you think you Far are? Far out, dude. I'll leave the rest of the matters to you, mother. <laughs> Does Cersei even agree with him? Walk with me. I want to show you something. I wouldn't want to be near him. Oh, that cut off his tongue, man. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy shit. No, please, no! This one's your father. This one here. What's wrong with him, dude? Is he serious? He promised to be merciful. I was. I gave him a clean death. Ridiculous. That pisses me off so much. Look at him! That's disgusting behaviour. How long do I have to look? As long as it pleases me. Oh. oh I hate him, man. Get rid of him! Do you want to see the rest? If it please your grace. That's your scepter, there. They killed her! No way. And kill your traitor brother. I'm going to give you his head as well. Or maybe he'll give me yours. Oh, yes, please. Oh, Samarin. Oh my God. Damn. 
Where's Arya when you need her? She's thinking of jumping. Oh, pushing him. Yeah, go. Will you obey now? Or do you need another lesson? Oh, shut up, Joffrey. Jesus, dude, he's so smug. Save yourself some pain, girl. Give him what he wants. Well, he's sort of a little bit caring for her, but I wonder yeah. why. Yeah. There's no way Ned dies to this idiot, dude. She had to learn the harsh realities. Playing princess, Ned was, Ned was trying to warn her, you know? Very oh, naive. Man, I could not, I'm devastated at Ned's loss. A brand can't be Lord of Winterfell before me. Renly can't be king before Stannis. If they unite with Stannis, that'll be an army. There sits the only king. I mean to bend my knee to. Interesting. Interesting. Can he create his own kingdom? Damn. Wow, go Rob. Now and always. Now and always. That's a nice interaction between them two. The king of the north! The oh, now he's a king we actually like. Wow. There's such an emotional episode already. Dude, there's so much in it. I'm going to need therapy after this. <laughs> Ned deserved better, man. Should have gone out as a hero. Leave us. Isn't it funny? Tywin said that he would never allow himself to get captured, and he did. Lovely tonight, Lady Stark. Widowhood becomes you. Wow. Those are the words. Must be lonely. Is that why you came? Hit him with it. I think I can be of service. He really likes provoking. Jesus Christ. Put on that gown and we'll see if I'm up to it. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved that. The dark is coming for all of us. Why cry about it? Mm. Interesting. What gods are those? The trees your husband prayed to? Where were the trees when his head was getting chopped off? Hark, hark, hark. It's a good point. Hark. It's a good point. How did he come to fall from that tower? I pushed him out oh. the window. I hoped the fall would kill him. Why? Damn, he's on us. No point lying now. You should get some sleep. It's going to be a long war. Damn, that's one too far. How can she stay so calm after that? He looks, there's more depth to his emotion as well, which intrigues me a bit. For sure. Was it this exciting last time, when you were young? That's her cousin. Lancel. Have we captured Rob Stark yet? What's our next move? Stop talking. Get back into bed. What's he, like her boy toy or something? What the hell? It's like a scrawny little kid. We must return to Casterly Rock to raise they more. They have my son! Oh, now you're concerned about that? Everyone was saying what he was saying about Tyrion. How's this thing about the drink? Oh. Okay, then. Yeah, but he's like, what the hell? You were right about Eddard Stark. Hmm, no shit. I always thought you were a stunted fool. Thought wrong. Perhaps I was wrong. Half wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love that play of words. You will go to King's Landing. Why? And do what? Rule. You will serve as Hand of the King in my stead. Oh, interesting. To heal and his mother too, if needs be. And if he gets so much as a whiff of treason from any of the rest, Baelish, Varys, Pycelle... Head spikes walls. Damn. Why not anyone? Why me? You're my son. Damn. It's the first time he's ever been acknowledged. You will not take that whore to court. Do you understand? That's a bit of a sore spot there. Yeah, I know. He had to end it on a negative. I know. Damn Tywin. There's a bit of distrust for Cersei there too, he even said. My son. Where is he? I want him. Where is he? She was the baby. The boy Damn. did not live. <sighs> it's 
probably the cost of bringing back Carl Drogo. They say the child was monstrous, twisted. He was scaled like a lizard, blind, with leather wings like the wings of a bat. What? The dragon? I warned you that only death can pay for life. You knew the price. I mean, fair. Show me what I bought with my son's life. He better be alive. And it better be in pristine condition. What a season, dude. So much has happened. I'd be fuming if I was Daenerys. The Kalasar is gone. A Carl who cannot ride is no Carl. Damn. No way they left him. That's pretty rough. I know. He lives. You asked for life. You paid for life. Why does he look like that? The hell? He looks dead. Nah, he better return to his proper self, dude. There's no way we lose him and Ned in the same season. I don't want you alone with this sorceress. I have nothing more to fear from this woman. Yeah, she's lost everything. Holy shit. Her husband, her son. It was wrong of them to burn my temple. It angered the great shepherd. This is not God's work. Is she serious? He would have been the stallion who mounts the world. Now he will burn no cities. Now his halasar will trample no nations into dust. Shit. I mean, you can't stand, but... We trust too much, hey? But we get her too, point of view. Tell me again exactly what it was that you saved. Your life. Why don't you take a look at your hal? Then you will see exactly what life is worth when all the rest has gone. Hmm. It's a fair point. Damn, yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to find my brother and put a sword through King Joffrey's throat. They all want to maul Yes, you will. Don't leave us now. We need you here. Move. I won't let you go. Oh, Sammy. Oh, Sam's trying. No. Oh. Damn. He's only really trying to help him. I would love to see him and Rob team up. He has all seven kingdoms in his pockets. Everyone, everywhere, always has to do exactly what my father says. Not you. He's always been a cop. Oh. Yes, he has been. Why don't you come with me? Be the hand's lady. Got a smile now. In the hand. Hey, all of a sudden she's happy. <laughs> I know what a hand needs. A hand. <laughs> They're already after him. <laughs> Useless. Is he dead, Lego? Oh, John! Yeah! Oh. I belong with my brother. But where are your brothers now? They'll kill you if they find out you've gone. They'll kill you if they know you came after me. We're sorry about your father. But it doesn't matter. You took the oath, you can't leave. I do want to see Jon Snow in war, though. Damn. Does that mean he's staying? I think so, for now. Surely they'd give him leave. No, it's not how the Night's Watch works. This episode I just feels like everyone that we like is losing. It's all it feels like. Hash Reovas. Reova Ateas Anna. Please show her. Anna Ziggurat Lejun Najat Ajin. We need you too, Drogo. You're the man, come on. He can't be dead. Damn, she really grew to love him. It's huge. So sad. Come back to us, Drogo. What? <laughs> she ending his suffering. There's no way Drogo's already dead as well. There's no way. I can't deal with this episode. When you started, you this guy's lost. What the hell? <laughs> what is this scene? Was it just acting to be all retarded? Or? Is that an act? 
Because he just like hunched over. I don't know. Yeah. Because he was standing tall. That was the whole point of it. Bending down. I must be one of the few men in this city who doesn't want to be king. You must be one of the few men in this city who isn't a man. You can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> when they castrated you, did they take the pillow with the stones? I've always wondered. Have you? Do you spend a lot of time wondering what's between? <laughs> I admire you. And I admire you, Lord Baelish. They always have interesting interactions. Yeah, the interactions are really interesting. It's almost like they're setting up the next phase of their game. And the other half would do the same, except they'd rape you first. Mm. So keep to yourself, and when you're pissed, do it in the woods alone. Damn, I still wonder what happened to her teacher. I reckon he's alive. I hope so. He ain't no squire. Look at him. He looks like a girl. I bet he stole that sword. Don't take it away from her. We'll take it off him. Give it here, midget. Look at him. Jeez. I knocked him down, and I kicked him in the balls, and I kept kicking him until he was dead. I kicked him all to pieces. Jeez, what is this boy is filthy. Sword! You want it? I'll give it to you. Yes, Arya! I killed one fat boy. <laughs> I bet you never killed anyone. I'm good at killing fat boys. I like <laughs> killing fat boys. Mm. <laughs> oh, the armor. You're going to sing when I hit you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye-bye. So do they send him away because they know he's a bastard son, maybe? But my master got sick of me, so here I am. Damn. Damn. Oh. Why is he treating and winter is Arya coming. that bad, though? He's not. Well, he's brought her with... Look where he's left her. Like, it looked like Ned knew him, but he's not doing her any favours. Treating her like shit. I don't think he's treating her like shit. He's looking out for her in the best way that he knows. Like, I don't know, he's definitely still... not treating her well. Like, take that to his family or to his mother or something, like, you know, you know. Well, he's still got his job, which was to get people for the wall. And that's what he's done. So he's taking everyone back to the wall. And he's kind of helping her with her travels and just saying, look, these are the rules. You've got to make sure that no one finds out that you're a girl because these are the yeah, reasons. Yeah, I get that, but I don't know. It still seems like pretty harsh treatment. I get he's got his duty, but it just, it's definitely not any... It's a very questionable way to go about it. He's not going about it with any sense of affection or love or even care for the girl. It's very, very blunt. Yeah, because he doesn't. like. And that's my point. Did yeah. You just see that, but I'm just saying that. But I don't think it's harsh. I just think it's like he's, how he's treating everyone else, you know? Correct. She's not Slave getting... traders, rapists, murderers. Like, this is the daughter of a noble who apparently seems a new, who's recently been orphaned, and he's put her with slaves and rapers and murderers and giving her threats. I'm just saying, it doesn't seem like... This guy seemed a little bit noble for a second, but I don't know if he's got a very weird way to go about it, but he seems like he's just sort of... His way of saving her is a real half ass bullshit but death it's for me. that or death. Like, everyone wants her head right now. Do you know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm and not all of them are bad. Like, the armorer isn't bad. He's just a bastard, I guess, and that's why, like, he's down for the wall. You look exhausted. It was your moonlight ride that tiring? No. <laughs> Do you think your brother's war is more important than ours? I mean, it's a good reality check. The world's a lot bigger. And worse, come hunting for us in the night. Do you think it matters who sits on the Iron Throne? Because I want you and your wolf with us when we ride out beyond the wall tomorrow. Oh, wow. I'll not sit meekly by and wait for the snows. Damn, it's a big honour. The Night's Watch will ride in force against the Wildings, the White Walkers, and whatever else is out there. No way, so soon. And we will find Benjamin Stark, alive or dead. Alive. Better be alive. So I'll only ask you once, Lord Snow. Are you a brother of the Night's Watch, or a bastard boy who wants to play at war? This will be big in season two, I reckon. Damn. Beyond the wall. It's true, when you've got the whole war going on, the, the throne seems so petty. It does, doesn't it? Dude, I still can't believe it, man. What the hell? Tell me he's dead. Are they going to somehow, somehow bring him back to life or hatch a dragon? I know what you intend. Do not. I must. What does she intend? 
don't ask me to stand aside as you climb on that pyre. I won't watch you burn. Wow. Oh, she's gonna stand on her because she can handle the fire. Because we've already seen she can touch the fire without getting burned. So Jorah binds this woman to the pyre. Damn. Damn. Once saving her, now sentencing her to death. I mean, I can't say the witch is bad because I get it. That those who would harm you will die screaming. You will not hear Shit. me scream. I will. <laughs> Damn. Dude, she's become colder and colder each episode. Like, her development you could not predict in one no season. Way. I thought it would have taken ages. Oh, she's burning. Far out, dude. That's brutal. I think she's making an example. Holy shit. I kind of feel bad for the witch because her people got slaughtered. She was defending them. It's fair, it's fair. You can see Jorah really cares about Daenerys. Crazy, dude. Is that a dragon? It hatched. Oh, shit. Finally. No way. <gasps> Another one. Did all three of them hatch? Oh, they're so cute. Dude, no way she commands three dragons. No way. Wow. That's a game changer for her power. Those are Thraki so are going to be coming right back. I know. But Drogo is gone now. Yeah, don't get me started on that, dude. <laughs> wow. Damn, is that the season finale? Holy crap, dude. I mean, what am I meant to feel now? <laughs> I don't know. Like, My emotions are everywhere right now. This is not at all what I was expecting, and that episode was insane, but it was just so hard to really slow down because, honestly, losing Drogo and Ned in the same episode, and then it being well, confirmed. Yeah. We lost him last episode pretty much because he was dead. Yeah. And then having it confirmed this episode, I'm about to stab to the heart. Like, that's as, that's as brutal as any show can get, man. Two characters, two warriors that I really admired and respected and had been critical parts of this season. Like, leaders and honor, honorable in their own right. And then to just be... They died in such a shit way. Honestly, the deaths were shit. Like... Drogo died while proving a point and getting an infection. Like, what the hell's that? And then Ned died at some brat's power. His best mate's brat just abusing his power. Like, there's no honor in these deaths. I can't even feel like a hero sacrifice. They were just wasted. Like, really good writing. I'm just saying, from my perspective, like, holy shit, that's devastating. Them two were probably some of my favorite characters out of the entire season. And they're just gone. That's it. Like, holy crap. Yeah, like I said before, like my emotions are literally all over the place because, yeah, some good happened this episode that like I'm really wanting, that I'm looking forward to essentially. Like John going beyond the wall, although I'm kind of scared for him. Daenerys. With her new dragons and three. Yeah. We never, I wonder, well, she's only Targaryen left, so that must mean that she can wield three dragons. We've never seen a Targaryen command three dragons. They usually got one each. Does it mean straight away that they've bonded now that they've hatched with her? I think I'm so. I'm not sure, but either way, it just means that... No, because we sort of saw in House of the Dragon that there's a bonding process you got to go to really command your dragon, but I think that it's inevitable. But you know how they put the egg in the cradle with the baby? That's, I think it's more it of a custom. It's okay. more of a custom that, that that'll be their dragon kind of thing. Yeah. But I do think that, yeah, she'll be able to bond with all three of them and that'll make her an absolute weapon. But I'm just... Yeah. Sad to see that it's not going to be with Drogo. I did not think know, he was going to be a one-season person. That's same with Ned. Like, that's a huge move by the writers. I guess they're following the books, but far out. I know. Like, I just feel like we didn't get enough of them, you know? There was so much more to experience. We we barely saw much of them at all. And ironically, they both went... See, Ned had one final battle with the Lannister, Jamie, to sort of give him one last fight. Yeah. And Drogo had that one last glorious moment pulling rank on, on insubordination. And then after that, they both got really pitiful deaths. I mean, damn, dude. I honestly, all I hope is that these, that these deaths are glorious compared to what Joffrey gets. I hope Joffrey gets the most just... Yeah. I was actually hoping that Drogo was going to be the one to deal it. Now, I'm still in shock that he's dead. Daenerys will. She has to. I might even be more in shock that he's dead than Ned because Ned's hurts probably more, but... 
you kind of we see it. We sort of saw it happening yeah. with Drogo and not happening at all. Not, not this soon. Neither. And not like that. Not oh, such a strong warrior to die just by a cut and infection. Like, that's shit. That is so shit. And damn Joffrey, like, he's got too much power. Honestly, Lannister should not be in power because that nasty side comes out. It's almost like... Alvin Tyrion. Yeah. But it's almost like like seeing Aemon from House of the Dragon when he finally bonded with Vega, that ego come out, that thinking you're top shit. That's kind of what happened with Joffrey. He already had that, no doubt, but it's like tenfold now. And to make Sansa stare at her father no. on her father's head on a spike, that's re- that's no, nah, that's like a whole new low. Yeah, he, he's he's staying on the hate list for a long time. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, definitely don't like him at all. Speaking of lists, we've been told by our moderators and by some people in the comments that a fun thing to do with Game of Thrones is to have a, a like, a love and hate list, maybe even a like list in there. We'll decide on that in a bit. So we're thinking we want to take the time to really get to know the world season one, and we're thinking that for season two, we will start to have a, a list of characters we love and hate probably three on each, and maybe every few episodes or so update that based on, you know, when big events happen and see how that goes. Now, to be honest, I don't think Joffrey's ever leaving the hate list for me. No. Actually, yeah, I'm just, just going to put a permanent red. I'm going to do his name in red and just keep it permanent there, but the others might rotate a little bit. Yeah, so you can look forward to that, guys. Hopefully, it'll make it a little bit fun as well. We are looking at maybe getting some T-shirts as well if we can source ones that we like, sort of for the house that we that we like the most, which I think is has to be Stark at this point. Like Yeah, at this point. And I can ta- see and you maybe theory. going to Daenerys' yeah. house. I'll be Stark through and through. I, I can't yeah. not, so at least for now. Are there any with, like, half-half, like one on the front, one on the back or something? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should go to Daenerys' keep it interesting. But we'll see. We'll see with the T-shirts, but... That'll be a bit of fun and hopefully, you know, just make it fun for you guys as we go along. But there's, I mean, damn. If this is just season one's ending, I don't know what I'm in for for the next seasons because that was a lot more than I expected to happen this season. Yeah. It's not even, not even their deaths is it was, it was far-fetched. It's just how it happened and how early it happened. Yeah. Which I'm still just trying to process. I'll, I'll need days to process. I know. I don't think we can start season two until we process this completely. But it was interesting that you did mention when Catelyn and Jamie had their little interaction. Catelyn walked away and it was zoomed in on Jamie's face. Like you did see like a bit of emotion there for once. I There's mean more that... to him. Yeah. I'm not as clear cut hate on him. Yeah. As I am with Joffrey. I, I wanna learn more about him. And to be fair, he was the least involved in all of this recent events anyway, so But it is kind of what started this whole thing as well, you know. Like in terms of the feud between the Starks and the Lannisters. It was inevitable because yeah. Ned was the hand for Rob or Robert, as people like me to tell, say. And when he died, he was naturally going to start to, you know, look at why did the hand die. Yeah. Once he uncovered the tail, his mistake was running to tell Cersei straight away. But I think before then, if Catelyn didn't get too hasty and like she kind of held Tyrion up to everyone and said, you know, he committed these crimes when he didn't. So that all started Tyrion, with Jamie. But it doesn't matter. The only reason Ned died was because of Joffrey. No, so you're misunderstanding me. So if Catelyn didn't prematurely call Tyrion a criminal, then Ned would have had time to kind of go about things in a different way. The only reason why him and Jaime ended up having that feud in the first place was because... Yeah, yeah, in that case, yeah, but I don't think that was a pivotal fact they ended being killed. Look, we might have, yeah, we might have had a few more seasons with that if that didn't happen. Well, honestly, at this point, I don't even have the energy to talk about what ifs because it's just <laughs> Ned's dead and I'm depressed about it. So <laughs> dreaming about something that's just going to make me more upset when it's not true, don't care about it. <laughs> what will be interesting is that they've now put Tyrion as the hand for Joffrey as a way of restraining both him and Cersei. So I wonder what Tywin sees. Obviously, he's got good faith that somehow... Tyrion can restrain them. And we've seen he already has the ability to put the boy in line when he slapped him in the face. So I don't think that'll change because he's king because he's his uncle. I don't think, yeah. yeah. So it'll be interesting. But I, I want to see that dynamic now and, and how that plays out. Yeah, so do I. That'll be quite interesting. I want to see him just keep slapping the boy again and again and again. Oh, yeah. We we didn't know we had a good back then. <laughs> no. But Tyrion, I think, like, always kind of just goes against what his father is saying and he's going to take that 
I don't know where she is. I'm just going to call her a whore at this point with him to King's Landing, which he was sure. definitely instructed not to. I'm also interested to see, which I don't think it will happen, if the power of being the hand will kind of go to Tyrion's head. I don't think it will. I think he's quite a grounded character from what we've seen. I feel seen. like his life before him, was, he's too old. He's been shaped already. I don't think something like that. I don't think he even could crave that power, but he does crave be accepted in somewhere and, and obviously be meaningful to his dad. Yeah. And it will be interesting to see. I feel like next season we're going to get a lot more to do with Beyond the Walls, to do with the White Walkers and other supernatural sort of beings in the world. And I feel yeah. like the emphasis now is really going to be on Ned's legacy left behind. So obviously his death seems like a really good catalyst for his sons to grow. One, as the King of the North, which is big for Rob Stark. I know, I can't believe he's that. He's now become King of the North, so almost his own kingdom in its own right now is developing, which is cool. Well, does it happen that... Well, they've all... All the, those clans have recognised him as their king, so that's, yeah. that's it. That's, that's what most of them matter. It's got their loyalty. True. And then Jon Snow, I believe, is going to really build his way up in the Night's Watch. And who knows, maybe they'll meet together at some point and have an epic battle, but that'll be cool to see what's beyond the walls. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But in the meantime, grieving the loss of two warriors, because God damn, man, you, none of you guys could have said, could have warned us for that. That is brutal. I oh, know. Well, guys, it has been a hell of a journey for season one. Honestly, like, geez, we're going to need to touch this for a while, but we will be back season two after my psychologist <laughs> sees me a few times. We will be back and we are still excited to see where all this goes. It's going to be a real bit weird to start off with without Ned and Drogo there. But I'm sure that they'll fill those voids in pretty quickly. We're looking forward to seeing how this ball goes. We're really excited. The support on our videos and this whole season has been amazing, both on Patreon and on YouTube. So we really appreciate it. And thank you for all you guys who have been supporting us and been enjoying our content. We've been loving this ride and we never actually thought that doing Game of Thrones would be so significant and that that many of you would want to watch it. So we've been blown away and we are loving the ride and we look forward to the many seasons to come and the many heartbreaks and depressions to come as well. Yeah, it's been great sharing the journey with you guys and reading all your comments and really interacting with you and sharing the love of the Game of Thrones universe with you guys. So, yeah, thank And for those you. of you who don't spoil and, and literally just try and explain things that we might have missed and understood, we, we love that. It actually enhances it. And it's one of the things that I love the most about reacting is that we get to get a lot more information because we have the community helping us and we get a really holistic story probably deeper than we would have on our own. So that makes it really fun too. And that yeah. interaction with you guys, you know, makes it, feel like we are watching the show with you guys, which we enjoy. And hopefully you guys feel the same as well. We are going to miss some things and it's not going to be perfect. It is quite a lot to keep up with. We don't strive to be perfect anyway. Yeah. It is a lot to keep up, up with, but we're so thankful that you guys are so supportive of our journey and yeah, we're looking forward to season two. Well, guys, take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys back for the season two, episode one. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. We know a lot of you haven't subscribed. Hit the notification bell because we're going to be trying to pump these uploads out as best we can. And you want to know as soon as they come out because we believe that next season is going to be wild. All right, guys. See you in the next video.